All right, we're getting ready for this live to begin at two o'clock. We had sent out a message, an email to all the people that are subscribing to our email campaign to let them know about a new product release today at 2 p.m. That's why we're here. Um, let me know if you guys can hear the audio. We're using a wireless microphone system in addition to the phone. Um, it's a little bit loud here in the shop, so hopefully that audio will help out things. But what's happening, everybody? I know there's a little bit of a delay, but if you guys could let us know about the audio, that would be fantastic. All right, so my name's Dan DeBose. Started this little adventure called Moto Build about 10 years ago. Uh, we started the business up, and my original thought was, hey, let's keep it small, enjoy things a little bit. I built another company uh, years ago, and things got a little bit wild, got a little bit busy. But keeping things small just isn't the way I operate. So I've got Bender here with me. He should be mic'd up. Yeah, so you can you hear me something? testing, testing. So if you hear somebody being a little gassy or something like that, he's had a little bit of a stomach issue the past few days, so I do apologize about that. Yeah, so. <laughs> but again, you know, I wanted to say, hey, I appreciate everybody that follows along here on the Motorbuilt page and certainly appreciate all of our customers. We would not be here without you guys and girls. Um, my wife, Hunter, she's followed along on the live to be able to type out and answer some questions along the way, as uh, also Bobby Cox, he should be on here as well, so if you guys are typing comments, one of those should, should be able to pick it up and reply. If you ask a question that doesn't get answered, be sure to send us a DM, and we'll certainly circle back and answer whatever you need. All right, so new products. I posted up a minute ago about the full length bed. We've made a few posts over the past few months about this bed. Uh, you guys have seen the Gobi Gladiator behind me and a lot of the pictures we've been sharing on social media lately. This bed has been tested in Moab, Utah, as well as uh, St. George. Um, a few trails around here in Alabama as well. So, Without further ado, let's show this thing off. The bed is a full length replacement bed. It's built out of 3 16th steel on the exterior. So the sides of it are the body armor. The fenders are included with the bed, same as the bob, where some of the big differences between this and the bob bed since I've got the camera pointed over at Bender, I'll let him like talk about some differences between the bob Ooh. and the full length. You know, little secret things. Yeah, there there's, like a, there's a few things. Um, on the bob bed, there's not enough room behind the, the wheel because, well, because it's bob. Um, so on the full length bed, we have integrated toolboxes on both sides. Pretty cool. Uh, you see this one's full of toe straps and, and other junk, but you put whatever you want in there. Crayons, um, makeup, you know delicious yeah. sandwiches um has the same the same tailgate the same bumper with the full length bed though you well, do not the same bumper is what we offer with the bob yes Just to clarify because some people not be may not be you know completely aware with of the bob bed kit that we offer so we kind of got one over there maybe you want to yeah. shoot from from there to there you can see i'll run back and forth Biggest difference from here forward is unchanged. But from here back is where we get get the difference. I don't know if you can see this, but even this, uh, the rear quarter armor is armored. Corner armor is armored. The, well, the it quarter does extend all the way under to the frame as well, and it's gusseted on the inside for some extra strength. So when you do come off of big rocks, big ledges, there's something under there to actually hit rather than some thin sheet metal like on the factory bed. Yeah, that Moab and St. George trip, you can see it was used and abused pretty hard. Michael drove his butt off, but it uh, it held up really well. Um, the same 
offering on this bed is the same tail light and accessory light for the rear that we offer on the bob now this tail light is an upgrade from off-road only we do include some led tail lights with it but not those those are the light dots from off-road only we do offer them on the website the lights that we're using in the rear are baja design squadron uh, leds you can use other brands as well but the squadron is one that we prefer has our same backup camera mount license plate mount and brake light it has a heavy duty receiver um, we have one for the full length bed and one for the bob bed again yeah. with the full length bed you do not have to chop the frame there's no right. frame taken out so it is a direct replacement just a bolt on but to kind of give it some perspective the factory hitch would be about here so there's a lot of a lot of ground space, clearance. a lot of ground clearance <laughs> the bumpers moved up a lot higher it's in line with the frame Lot. The hitch is something that we offer as a uh, optional part, so you don't have to uh, um, run the hitch. You could have even more clearance if you didn't want it on there. Even have the the wiring relocation kit, so this thing tucks up really tight in behind the receiver. You can't. Well, I guess you could hit it, but you'd have to try really hard to get yeah. to it. I mean, throughout Moab and St. George. There's not a lot that got really scratched on and beat up too much. I mean, it has a lot more clearance than what the factory bed and where a factory bumper location would be. Show them what's in uh, behind that bumper. So in behind the bumper, we were talking about how the bottom skids on the side, these pieces here were gusseted. So on the inside, these plates are gusseted up to the cross members on the replacement body. Really strong. Yep. There's the hitch and bumper. Again, the hitch is an optional part. People ask about the diesel and the gas versions. The, the bed is, is pretty much the same. The actual fill portion and this clamshell. So we have a gas version and we have a diesel version for your DEF and your diesel tank. People ask what this is. This is just to keep stuff from smashing your gas cap off. It's really just a kind of a cheesy plastic cap that comes stock. So this is a, not only can you tie down to it, but it's a guard for the gas cap. So you don't yeah, I mean, smash if you had them up. Like a tool bag or something on here that you forgot about and took off and went down a hill, keeps the things from sliding forward. This does reuse all the factory um, gas filler neck or diesel filler neck. It's just, uh, we reroute it. So from an emission standpoint, we're not cutting any hoses. We're just rotating the hoses on the filler neck. So it shouldn't be any issue when you go to get smog checked, those kinds of things. Trying to scan back through and make sure there's no like questions that we need to point out anything. Um, what was the weight difference? Didn't you guys weigh the full length bed versus like the factory bed with all the stuff that came off? Yeah, think, with all the, the Rubicon armor and stuff, it ends up about 130 pounds difference is what we came up with from shipping from, a, from the full size bed with all the bumper. Um, but the, the factory bed with the hitch, with all the lights, the fenders, that uh, like the rocker armor that comes on the Rubicon, all that stuff is actually by the time you it all levels out, it's it's less than a couple hundred pounds, which is pretty cool. That's less than say some some cheap little armor that you would put on the side of a normal gladiator bed. And if you're, I don't know, the one that you could put armor on on a gladiator bed, but you'd be putting it on that same material. I don't know if you can can see that, but the foundation to even put the armor on is is not a lot there. Yeah. It's no comparison. So essentially you put the heavier armor on some thin sheet metal, it's just going to cave in whatever's behind it. Uh, I'm trying to look through some... Also hmm. on the lid, we do ship it with lockable latches. That way you can lock up some of your gear, keep it in there. Now, this particular bed does have an optional bed rail that's offered on the website with the bed. The bed rails extend up to the cab height um 
does have locations for Baja Designs S2 lights. These aren't included with the bed lights, but this is a great light to put on the side for to kind of flood out the area on the side for either wheeling or camping or working on the vehicle, whatever. We got a uh, question. Uh, do we miss any other new stuff on that? I don't know if he, you, you talked about the the new Molly panel. Yeah, I was going to circle back to that one after okay. we got through all this. But, <laughs> you know, here recently we did release the spare tire mount, which on my Gladiator, we have a cargo basket mounted to it. The cargo basket does have a bracket that we are making live on the website as we're on this live, but there's a bracket system under here that we offer to be able to bolt our cargo baskets to the spare tire mount. The spare tire mount does offer a optional molly panel for it. It bolts to either directly to the bed or to the bed rails. This tire mount or cargo basket mount will also work on the full length bed. And that's a good segue to discuss the Molly panel that Bender just mentioned. Kind of wanted to go over a few of these items that do cross over from the Bob bed that will work on the full length. And just in the past couple of days, Michael, one of uh, the engineering managers, he designed uh, this Molly panel setup that bolts in the front of either the Bob or this full length bed. This is an optional piece that was made live on the website a few minutes ago. Um, it's made out of aluminum, bolts to holes that we already provide in the bed. Well, that's a good place to strap your gear, toe straps, etc. Um, anything else about the Molly panel? Um, not a whole lot on the Molly panel. It's just an, an easy one to be able to, to carry a lot of stuff and keep it from banging around the bed. Now, one thing that Michael does have in his Jeep, they carry their mountain bikes on in the back of the Jeep a bit, which you see the mount that he has there. He designed a bracket system. I'm not sure where it is. Michael may have one laying around here somewhere, but we have one that can bolt either to the bed rail or to the molly panel because he's wanting to move his bike mount from the top edge down to this hey, Michael, location. Michael, do you have any? Oh, there it is. And the uh, mounts <laughs> that are optional for mounting the forks of your bike, which here comes Bender with the mount. So what I was saying while you were out there was talking about mounting this. It's a lot of the bike mounts, the bolt holes are not in the center. So by mounting this up on the top, it puts the forks very close to the cab. So slots were designed in the bracket to be able to move it forward and aft. Also, the design intent that Michael was planning on was mounting the fork mount on the molly panel further down in this location, which would drop the handlebars on the bike a bit. One thing we might want to show them, um, people had asked with this toolbox in here, how do you access the lights? There's a removable panel. You can see where it has nut shirts in there. So real easy to work on the lighting and install the lights, get those backup lights or whatever you need to put in here. And then it's a protective panel that goes over the front of this thing that uh, keeps debris out, keep your tools clean and, and dry, and then easy access to the light. This panel here is also a panel that's offered on the bob bed this is where if you have the factory 12 volt i mean i'm sorry 120 volt option that's where this plug bolts in the factory plug that comes out of your factory bed will bolt here if you don't have that option the bed does ship with this optional panel um, I, do, I do we do need to point out that this bed's not completely assembled because we haven't put the railing on here for the bulb seal to keep it watertight so we can point that out on the other bed. Other, uh, other thing you might want to mention is this bed is shipped completely disassembled. That way it can ship on a pallet. It doesn't have to have some crazy freight where you're going to pay yeah. $2,000 to have this thing shipped. Yes, it's a lot of button nuts and bolts, but you're going to take the whole thing apart anyway to paint it. So it does get shipped flat, and then you assemble it. It's a little easier that way. All right, let's hit on these uh, bulb fills and stuff in the bed. So if you notice, there's a rail 
a lip here that turns up and we do ship it with the bulb seal so when you shut the door it seals against this to keep it from rattling and also keeping out some moisture as much as possible um back to the tail lights i thought about it when we were looking over at the other bed you know we were discussing how the lights mount we do ship it with two different brackets the bed here this has the bracket installed to be able to install like the off-road only um, led light dot tail lights and then on the inside the cube mount bracket there's a bracket that we ship with it that bolts into this location so Bender just kind of caught up to 2022-ish, <laughs> 2023-ish, and got a new phone. Check this out. Yeah, yeah. He, got a, yeah. he had this, like, flip phone, I think. Yeah, it was a that. six. It was good. It was <laughs> All right, yeah. so let's open the floor up. Any questions, anything like that? Anyone want to see something specifically? Anyone got something they want to ask we can jump over to the bob bed version if you like somebody had said something about the highline fenders i know it's nothing to do with the bob bed but they said man that goby sure looks nice with the highline fenders yeah we can go and point that out because we do recommend the highline fender it matches up well with the bob bed and the full length bed as far as how high the fender is off the tire so with the highline fenders we're able to keep the rod height lower with a larger diameter tire, this particular Jeep is running um, four and a half inch front springs, I believe, and yep. three and a half rears. But this fender sits almost three inches higher, 2.97 inches higher than the other fenders. So you get a lot more clearance when that thing articulates. And those guys that are running a nice low lift with a big tire can attest, this is your issue. You're trying to stop that tire from hitting the fender. And it can be kind of a pain in the ass, but... That's a great answer for that. So we, we do have a uh, request for Bender to high dive into a glass of water. I hate to break it to you, but <laughs> his head's too big. It's definitely his, too big. His ego won't fit into a yeah. glass of water. <laughs> <laughs> and someone is asking if the tire mount is on the website. If you're referring to the tire mount that is in the full length bed, yes, this uh, tire mount is on the website. Also, the tire mount that is on top of the bed that we have on the Greg Gladiator, that has been on the website for, I think, a couple weeks now. But you went over the high lift. The high lift mount Mount's is something out. that we're going to be releasing soon. It does bolt to this tire carrier. We've just got to put together some handles and the spacers and put it together in a kit for you guys. But that is something that you'll see pretty soon. On this particular build, we're running our dual ARB compressor enclosure. We drilled some holes, mounted it to the rear inner fender, which this would work perfectly well on the full length bed. Fits nicely in here in the bob bed. All right, let's see. What other questions do we have, guys? Uh, nothing at the moment. Uh, so the rear PRP seat bracket is designed for the JT. Um, Aaron over at PRP is supposed to be sending us front and rear seats for this particular build to look at prototyping the rear seat mounts. We haven't received the seats just yet to work through that process, but that is something that we do want to do. Not sure they're going to fit in this Jeep anymore. Our buddies over at uh, JK Land uh, were nice enough to help us out with some 12 volt stuff. So we installed a couple 10 inch subwoofers underneath the back seat on this build. So we may have to do the rear seat mounts in Bobby's or this uh, Doby behind me. All right. You guys can get over to the website. You can check out the full length replacement bed. We appreciate the compliments. Jordan looking like he's posting up some stuff on turning out great products. We appreciate it, man. We appreciate you guys using our products on your builds. And as always, we're here to help. Uh, Bobby's on the phones pretty much every day between that, instant messages and whatnot, answering technical questions. 
he's posting up here as well as my wife Hunter. Um, yeah, I mean our team's here to help in any way that we can. Somebody had asked about the roof wreck. <laughs> Oh, so here we go. Next week, Monday, I believe it is, we're launching roof racks in the full cab version for the Gladiator, a half cab version for the Gladiator, a full length for the Jeep JL, and a half cab for the Jeep JL. We do have in development versions for the JK and the two-door JK. Don't have a release date on those just yet, but it won't be too long. That's pretty cool. Somebody spotting something else new in here. What else we got? What else we got? Uh, we went over the brackets to mount the cargo basket. We went over the hitch. We went over the optional molly panel for both the bob and the full length bed um the rails yeah we went over the rails pretty cool stuff right well what else would you like to see yeah throw it out there what what, what do you want to see on these things what else what other kind of goodies could we add to this thing i know there's a pile of stuff out there somebody's got to have something let's see spotted something in the fender wells of the gray ones what was it that you spotted hmm we removed the gas cans from there. We put the molly panels, which we went over. I don't know if it's the anti rock. What's in the is it gray? Are you one? talking about inside the fender well? Dun dun dun. Oh, we <laughs> are working on the inner fenders that everyone's asked for. For let me grab a Bob prototype Bears. here. We have a little bit of a prototype bender's going to run over and grab for us real quick. So all the bob bed owners that have been asking for some sheet metal to cover the fuel filler area check this out we um have been working through some development to fabricate an optional sheet metal piece for that area so this one is actually getting extended down a little bit further to cover up more area but this will be something offered on the website very very soon so for all you people uh, joining in late, my name's Dan DeBose. That's Bender, Rob Park, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> she likes to do really weird stuff off camera. <laughs> I can't unsee what I just saw. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm gonna put that. Nice. Yeah, a few people and come in saying that uh, they're looking forward to it on that little piece of sheet metal. Um, we do have some new brackets that were turned on live in the past couple days for the Crusher HD series front bumper. If you notice, uh, there's three LB, LP6 lights mounted on the front of the Crusher HD here with the fabricated bull bar. Um, we've released some new tabs to go on this area to mount a straight light bar and we're launching the one to mount tubes or something like the LP6 to the front. Some some guy, um, some hunter guy, a serious hunter, I think it was something like that, or hunter serious, something yeah. like that, wanted yeah. to see a, a quick update on the YJ. That's a, I don't know how deep you want to go into that one. All right, somebody's asking to show the <laughs> rocker guards a little bit closer on this, on the Gladiator. These are the frame mounted rockers that we offer on the website. And as you can see, they've taken some hits while out wheeling in Utah. We do have some very large mounts that go over from the tubing to the Ooh. frame. I think pretty much larger than anybody else offers on the market. It's really to spread out that load where it transfers to the frame. Uh, what I think for got? the purposes of this live, we'll probably end it before we go over to the YJ. We can always <laughs> do another live just for that. It might be, get a little bit convoluted for people trying to follow along because yeah. we'll save this and reshare it. Oh, look at Hunter trying to sell the Gladiator. Uh-oh. You, wait, wait, no. I want to keep it for a little bit. I, I'm, we're still prototyping. 
Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, before we get off this live in the next couple minutes, I'll turn it back over and let you guys uh, post up if you have any questions. Yeah. See, my wife's posting up on here to sell the gladiator. So the story behind that is last May, we were at Jeep Beach Jam in Panama City Beach. I'd walked <laughs> off to go grab a drink. I come back. She's hanging out with uh, a guy named Sean in the booth, and he's talking about buying a gladiator, and she's negotiating the price. I'm like, hmm. So I threw a number out at him, and now Sean's one of our very good friends. He started traveling to wheeling events with us, and he'll be traveling to some of the other shows this year. He bought the black gladiator that we built last year, put the bob bed on. Literally bought it, what, two weeks after we put the bob bed on, so we weren't able to get out anywhere and show that thing off. And that's why we bought the gray gladiator and went to work on it. All right. Uh, I'm scrolling back. Looking the tire carrier back plate fold down so the tire can roll out. No, it does not. But it's only a very small lip that the tire has to roll over. If the thing were to fold down, it does bolt. And there is several locations. If you look at the front. Uh, Let me climb in here. <clears throat> So the front panel, because there's different sized tires, the front panel does move and can bolt in different locations for different tire sizes. But as far as having this fold down, no, it does not. It's pretty easy to flip this thing over and just roll it off the end of the tailgate. So didn't see a need for having this to fold down. Yeah, I mean, when we start adding fold down pieces and stuff like that, it starts adding parts to the assembly and starts adding cost on the retail side for you guys to purchase. So I mean, for the half second it takes to roll it over the back versus the few seconds it would take to undo some pins, this certainly saves a lot of money. Let's see. Hello to the Ukrainian person posting up. I guess that might, I don't know if it's a spam message or not. I don't know, but uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to bite my tongue. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's see. What else you guys want to see? I have an idea. Here, you show a few things. I'll be right back. Uh-oh. Oh, Dan trusted me with the phone. Hey. Like, seriously, he's, he's gone. He's gone. What do you guys want to see? Send one to South Dakota. I'll put it to the test. Got you. I got you. From you I'm from Ukraine, too. Wow. Well, I know you all have a lot of money now. So, uh, uh-oh. All right. What? Oh. <laughs> so, oh. seriously, though, who would like to see? Oh, just whack it. Let's take you know a what? Louisville Slugger to a factory bed Let's do this. Let's and, do this. And compare it to... Hitting one of these beds. Yeah, you t you take a you take a baseball bat, take a baseball bat to your uh, factory bed. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> you actually scared me. I wasn't I wasn't prepared for that. Take take a baseball bat to your factory bed. See see how that does. Yeah. That. <laughs> yeah, that's for real. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> Look at that with your factory bed. Nava. Yeah. About time. Yeah. <laughs> so. Hmm. All right. Everybody see that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Hey, even, though, even though I jumped, he, yeah. he messed up my good softball bat. No. Yeah. Look at that. Put a little flat spot in the bat right there. It's a good one. Yeah. See? Yeah. No yeah. half swinging, huh? No, no, no. <laughs> Come on. Tee off on that thing. <laughs> how, big, how big are those mickey thompson's so these are 40s and 40 uh threes 43s on 20s 40s on 17s again it's a three and a half inch rear four and a half inch front um on 40s with the highline front fenders so this is a four and a half inch rear spring and a four and a half front but the reason why it looks so much taller is the tire diameter, but also 
the four inch axle tubes versus the diameter of the factory axle tubes on the Rubicon. So yes. it's getting a little bit of lift just because the axles are so freaking huge and because of the tire size difference. Yeah, recoil TJ, he sure did. Dan, uh, I don't know if you guys haven't seen the video. We were out in, uh, out in Utah and Dan, Dan being a Southern boy, he was leading our group and, and he had something to prove. I don't know, he, he wheels kind of aggressively. Well, I guess kind of like I do too, but he uh, jumped up this ledge. I forget what trail it was on. I don't remember either. Um, but he smacked the crap out of it. In fact, everybody on the trip, including me as I was standing up on the hill, said, well, you broke it. And uh, no, I just hit here, it bent this fender slightly. So we did put a new one on. It scuffed the paint a bit there. Stuff the paint off here. This is not a dent. That's just the paint missing. Um, and actually, this isn't a new fender. Took a took a piece of took a, a crescent wrench and just pulled it back out again. Just a, just a little bit. You can you can see a little bit of a. But that was uh, what seven thousand plus pounds coming down on just on that fender. Loud enough that we actually thought he split the transfer case, but uh, held up really really well. It's amazing when you do a Moab and you're dropping off some of the stuff like on Golden Spike. And we were trying to get this thing to drag even through the crack, hitting it, hit it dead ass straight on the Golden Crack. And you couldn't get the, uh, couldn't get the bob bed to, to drag. I think we got a little bit of a scratch here, but mostly what's hit has been this hitch here. We got a few scratches on the bottom side of it, but not much, <laughs> not much at all. I'll tell you what, those Factor 55 guys really know what they're doing. This thing's beautiful. And if you ever have any of their stuff, you'd attest to it too. Absolutely amazing stuff. What else you got? Any more questions? Someone asked if we're going to Trail Hero. Dan, what events you planning this year? Trail Hero is on the list. Kind of hate to commit to all of them because our calendar changes a bit during the year with work off obligations and whatnot. But um trail hero we're looking at some of the great american crawl adventures and i don't know kind of playing it by ear to see where we're going to end up yeah i know we spent the first couple weeks in moab <laughs> we went to moab and then we went uh, to uh st george and, and really had a good time but although we like it it's kind of expensive to put the bill and, and then uh, this whole place doesn't run so I don't yeah. know. It's, it's really cool going out there, and it's really uh, neat banging away on the rig. But this is where all the mountains happened a few months ago. I don't know if you can see that. It's a pretty, pretty powerful place. Let's see what else you got. Uh, somebody was, Hawk Pride. Somebody was yeah, posting up about Hawk Pride. We are looking at being at the Hawk Pride event this year. So you will you should see the gray gladiator, the red one, the SCOBY, uh, the black bob gladiator and hopefully a few other rigs so i don't know looking forward to seeing everybody hey, all right what else we got what else we got we lose one of we didn't lose this mic did we no all right well it's seeming to slow down now yeah we're down to uh the 30 minute mark i guess it's about time to cut this thing off and any uh anyone have any questions or anything be sure to let us know uh, let's see need, need some samurais in the shop uh, that's ryan patrick <laughs> he had a samurai we used to wheel together a bunch back in college he had a little bit of a cyclops thing going on now, I'll, I'll have to agree the very first competition rig that fat kid and i ever did was a, a samurai yeah way 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 back in the yeah. day very first competition rig samurai's rock but See, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hold it up here so your double chin doesn't show well how about my big old boobies Hunter, Hunter showed me that trick. <laughs> like, hold the phone up here because we hold it down here we get a double chin oh okay so, on yeah. you yeah yeah see that's what this is my Oh, somebody talking my about double hit. chin charger someone's talking about hit the bed again with the ball bat but man my hands that hurt so <laughs> but just to kind of show i'm not sure that we went back over there after that last hit that was hitting pretty good no dents no damage ready to go um yeah i mean we've been wheeling in the snow 
We wheeled in the snow over in Farmington, New Mexico a little bit before we made it to St. George. We had a few of the vehicles there. That was a good time, a little bit too cold for me. I'm more of a tropical person. Here, I'll whack it. You want me to whack it? I was thinking, you know, it might be kind of cool to sign uh -oh. the baseball bat and the first person to buy one of these beds, we just ship it with the bed. Get it, get it. There's a big dent in the side of oh, it. Yeah, you did. Yeah, right there. Boom. You whacked it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad. Like, like a like a number. How 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 hard do you want it? You're your left-handed, right? Watch out, Andrew. It might break <laughs> off and fly over there. Oh, your hands hurt. Your hands. Oh hurt. man, yeah. it hurt, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Oh yeah. No dents. The bat, the bat has some big, yeah. nasty. She's not happy. In it. So, yeah. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, that was my first and last time. Yeah, that hurt like hell, didn't it? <laughs> All right, we're bouncing off here. Any other questions, just be sure to direct them to the direct message. Bobby will be checking that out um, as well. I and we can answer your questions. And anyway, we'll get back on live soon. Give you guys a update on the YJ build. We are back working on that. Hopefully we can get it done pretty soon. I know I'm looking forward to it. Spent a good bit of time last year while Bender was off playing TV show with Jeremy Renner, or Renner, however you said. So uh, now he's back. We can both work on it. It's uh, really, really cool being able to collaborate uh, back and forth with someone like Bender as we go through this project. All right. We are bouncing out of here. Thank you all for watching. And we'll catch you later.